Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. I'm going to do one cast. I boated up here just above the dock because there's just a little bit of a chop up here on the surface. The breeze is starting to pick up a little bit today and it is Saturday the 2nd of June. <coughs> Get that breeze, a little chop on the water, the fish bite so much better. And I've seen a few fish up here hitting the surface. So I know they're feeding. We're supposed to have some storms go through there here this afternoon around two or three o'clock. The front, it's a pretty major front. It's supposed to be a lot cooler in the next few days. Down in the low to mid 80s during the day which is a whole lot better than what it's been I got the same <clears throat> almost the same rig on I had yesterday but I've got it's a 1 1 25th ounce marabou jig it's a sculpin ginger and then I left the uh, uh, the zebra midge on there it's a red 14 I'm gonna fish it <clears throat> about six foot deep to the last fly to the last jig make sure that stick is in there good <clears throat> supposed to start running water this afternoon i think i have not checked but i assume it's going to run fairly hard today I'm going to throw this out just a little ways, not too far, <clears throat> so I can see the float. <coughs> Still a lot of pollen and stuff in the air, kind of fighting it. Not too bad today on the lake as far as the Saturday goes. Some traffic. Guys already caught their limit off the dock this morning. I did try to do <clears throat> one cast this morning early and uh, got it done. And then the sound, <clears throat> excuse me, the audio didn't work on it. So went up and had breakfast with the kids and came back down and checked the video and it, it didn't work. So I'm going to try this instead. Because I got the jig on there, I'm going to work the float just a little bit. The zebra midges really don't need a lot of movement. You just have to count on the rainbows swimming around until they see it, find it, need it. The, um, the jig, on the other hand, Needs a little bit of movement to move that marabou to make it look live. Of course, the chop. Oh, Phil. A miss on one cast. I should have had him. I looked down just for a second. Float was under. Ah. You got to. The, the chop on the water moves the float and uh, in turn moves the, the marabou jig just a little bit, but it doesn't hurt to kind of move the float every once in a while just to give it a little bit more movement. But the chop on the water does two things. See, I should have got the first one. Gosh does two things a chop on the water it it, uh, it it doesn't allow the uh the light to get through the surface of the water oh heron wants my fish um so it's darker underneath the surface it's like a cloudy day and uh, they feed a lot better when they have a choppy surface. Plus, it, when you're using a float, it works the, the fly or the jig or whatever you're using. It moves it just a little bit. 
So choppy surface is always much better to fish in. Oh, I got him in the side. Not even illegally caught fish. I don't know. Sometimes they come up and they swipe it, hit the jig with their body, and if you're quick enough, set the hook, you get him in. You get him in the side. Of course, that one has to be released. It's not a fairly hooked fish. Okay, I'm gonna cast one more time. See if I can get one in the mouth. That herring is still circling. But I'm losing my chop. It's probably gonna get pretty breezy this afternoon. When that front comes through. There he is. He feels like a little bit, like I got him in the mouth. And he took the jig. Yep, got him in the mouth. Oh, there's a big jump out there. Lost my sound for a minute there. So when there's uh, not a chop on the water, like it pretty much just went flat. So you hit it a little more often. Yeah, this is fun. And he took the jig again. A little bigger fish. All of them are fairly fresh stockers. They don't have a lot of color to them. fishing. I think this is why some people don't like to fish. The tangles. All right, last one. <clears throat> Evidently, there's a lot of fish up here above the dock.
And again, I stopped in this spot. I was going to go up a little bit further. I stopped at this spot because I saw a couple fish rise. So I knew there was at least one or two fish here that were eating. Got a jumper. And he took the jig again. They're not too interested in the in the midge. Okay, I gotta go to work. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.